Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Greenhouse, the wordplay can't get colorful. The scriptures cutting you the butter too. Not to mention we a living legend. Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you. You better watch and just take notes. The father sent the flood in a rainbow, but his son coming back with fire, so it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats. Let me tell you what the prophecy, unparalleled with the prophecies, stopping fritz bodies in the street. My people, property in this monopoly, call it America. Where the dreams come true, where nightmares and the demons come to The side of my agenda, I don't give a damn if you offended Because we sin against our God, you're right And instead of correcting it, or teaching us to correct it You got a church right across the street that so They used to be the old Walmart, right? That's a church now You know how big Walmart is? That's a, that's a big old church why aren't they teaching this message? Right. They got thousands of followers. Why are they not teaching us why the young men are on the corners acting a fool? Why our sisters are single mothers? Why? Because they don't care to think that. They don't care to teach that because they're not about healing the community. We come out here to heal the community. Now watch this. Um, Sirach 26 and 23. I'm going to get back to y'all. So I just wanted to, I want to deal with the sisters. You, you taught them a lot of good things. And I just want to hammer some points home before y'all leave. Because I know y'all probably leaving soon. So I want you to hear this. Read. Sirach. 26 and verse 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. So you wonder why the men that you deal with, is some wrong? They always cheating. They always childish. They always want to put their hands on you. They always want to talk to you bad, call you names, treat you not like a woman, not like a daughter or a princess, but treat you like you one of these thoughts in the street, right? That's how men treat God is telling you why. You got to change your ways so God will give you a righteous man. Because he said, if you wicked, meaning if you break in the commandments, he going to send you a wicked man. Right. You ever heard the term, they was made for each other, and they both wicked, they both evil? That's why. God sent you an evil man. Right. But watch this. Proverbs 12, Proverbs 2. It, did you finish it? Okay, I'm sorry. But a godly woman, but a godly woman, which is what you're striving to be now that you're learning this message, read, is given to him that feareth the Lord. So let me show you what a man that feareth God will do for a righteous woman. First Timothy chapter five, verse eight, you know what I want? Let me show you what a righteous man is supposed to do for a godly woman. As you become godly, and I, and I pray y'all come to the school. Bring your children, we got a kid's room. The kid's gonna learn what you learning, but on a lower level, you know, they kids. But they got a kid's room. Watch this, read. First Timothy chapter five, verse eight. But if any provide not, for his own, and, and espe especially for those of his own house, he had he had, he had denied the faith, and is worse than an infidel. God says, if a man don't take care of his wife and his children, he's worse than an infidel. An infidel is a man that don't believe in God. That means atheist. That's what God is saying. You gotta take care of your wife and kids, right? But you can't continue to choose the men that you've chosen in the past. 
it's time to get you with a righteous man. The only way you're going to get with you a righteous man is to become a righteous woman. Because the word of God can't be broken. If God say, look, if you're wicked, he's going to be wicked. That's what God means. Watch this. Go to, go to uh, Sirach 37 12. What'd you say, I? Pull up. Pull up and holler us one minute. Five minutes. Give us five minutes of your time. Come on in. We the Israelites. You want too, big bro. Go ahead. Sirach 37. I understand what we represent. We represent righteousness. We're keeping the commandments of God and the faith of black Messiah Jesus Christ, hoping that when he returned, we be found worthy to get the kingdom of God. But you got to keep the commandments. Right. Read. Sirach 37, verse 12. That's a good question, the brother asked. All praises. Read. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. God says be continually with a godly man who you know keep the commandments. If he ain't got no beard, he's shaving his beard, that's breaking God's commandments. Right. If he eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, and then tell you, hey, it's okay, baby, go on, eat that. That's not godly. Right. Because our wives, we, we sit down with them and we read the Bible with them. Like we, mar I'm married, he married, those two brothers married, he's still single right now, right? But all of us are married. So we have to, we are, we are um, commanded by God to teach us, to teach the sisters righteousness. You understand? Read that again. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of, of the Lord. So the Bible says, be good with a, be continue with a godly man who you know keep the commandments. You see the brother wearing his fringes, Saturday he don't buy, sell, cook because that's the Lord's Sabbath. You see him doing that? That's the righteous man. That's what we building. Like our, the single brothers amongst us, they can't sit amongst us and not take care of their wife. They get put out the church for that. Watch this. Get 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. Bring it out. We put brothers out the church for not taking care of their wife and kids. Right. We don't play that. But guess what? The wife got to do what she's supposed to do, too. She has to be a submissive woman, be willing to hear the Bible, be willing to change her ways. Right? Go ahead. And the reason I say change your ways is because in America we've been taught slavery. We got a slave mind. Right. So we do what slaves do. Right. But when you come to the Bible, it's going to be things that you do. It's going to be spirits you deal with that at first it's going to be a little struggle to, to fully get it right. It's still a struggle for me. You know what I'm saying? It's still a struggle for him, I'm sure. For him, I'm sure. It's still things that we battle with. We're not saying we're perfect. But what we are saying is if we don't do this, there is no salvation for us. Right? right? Come on. You said verse 10, right? I think so, yeah. Uh, Second text, text, second text, Lord, is step three, verse 10. For even when we were with you, this we command you that if any not work, neither should he eat. If a man don't work, he can't eat, right? You heard that before, right? Now read 14. Verse 14. And if a man obey not our word. Because so, I didn't want you to think like, damn, that's harsh. Y'all throw a brother out of church for not taking care of his wife and kids. Yeah, if he don't take care of his wife and kids, he got to go. Watch, this scripture says this. Read. But if any man obey not our, our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him. See what the Bible say? God said, look, I'm building men here. I ain't building no kids. We're not building little boys playing around, running, and, and got their two-year-old daughters out here in a rumper, shaking them behind at two, three years old. God don't want men like that. He can't deal with men like that. Right. He need men that's going to be humble enough to accept that they're not right in the mind and that God's word is the only way. Them the type of men that you want to be around. Well, you want to be around godly sisters first. And if it's in the Lord's will, he'll bless you with a righteous man. Because it ain't good. Get that real quick. And um, you know what I want? In Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Let me show y'all this real quick. Genesis 2 and um, I think it's 24. Let me look at your Bible. Your Bible is different from mine. As far as where it's at. Uh, start at verse 20. Read 20, where is it when my good that man should be alone? Is it verse 20? I don't know your Bible was different. I got the old English. It's in verse, it's early now. I'm, I'm reading for y'all, so I want y'all to hear this. Read verse, just read verse 21. We'll get to it. Uh, Genesis 2 and 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Tw 20, that's it, that's it, verse 20. Verse 20. Verse 20. And Adam gave name to all the cattle and to the fowls of the air, and to every beast of the field. But Adam, but for Adam, there was not found a help meet for him. So Adam was the king of the earth. He was the god of the earth. He was the first man God created. It was other people on the earth with Adam. I know you've been taught it was just Adam and Eve. It wasn't. Because Cain, remember Cain and Abel? Remember Cain killed Abel, then Cain left and got a wife. How you get a wife? 
because there was more people on the earth then. But the story is centered around Adam and Eve. So Adam named all the animals. God gave Adam a place to stay, which is the Garden of Eden. And then he gave him a job. His job was to name and to rule the earth, right? So he said, but he missing something. Read. And the Lord called a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, he took a rib from Adam, read, and, caught, and closed up the flesh that, uh, instead thereof. And the rib which the God, which, which the Lord God had taken from man, made he woman, and brought her into the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone. So when you become married, because that's what you want to be married, right? To a righteous man. You become bone on bone. It ain't no, it ain't my bank account. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's our bank account. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm the head. I make the last decision. But my wife understand that if she got to get a necessity for the, for, the, for, the, for the family, she can go ahead and do that because those are the type of decisions she got to make. But you don't want nobody that's going to be overbearing on you, that's going to tear you down. God, when he made Adam, he gave Adam a job. He gave Adam a house, then he gave him a wife. That's the order that it goes in. So that's why we're teaching our brothers that's single, get a job, get a house, then you can get a wife, right? Come on. That's what you should want. You should want to be like, hey, he got a job? And we'd be like, nah, he ain't got no job, sis, but go on get with him anyway. You don't want us, to, come on, you don't want us to tell you that. You would want to trust us to be honest men of God and show you the right way, read. And flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. So that's why you got the name woman, because you was taken from man. Your body not meant to handle the weight of the world. The black man's body physically is meant to handle the weight of the world. That's why all the stuff black men go through, we still here, right? But the black woman, they want to take the black man out of the house, make him effeminate, make him homosexual, put him in jail, or let him kill his own brother. One of them four, he got to be one of them four. They don't want the black man coming out on the corner in the hood, middle of the night, teaching our sisters righteousness, teaching our brothers righteousness. That ain't what they want from us. They want us to be niggas and coons and um, Negroes and colors and blacks, what they taught us, thugs. You understand, that's what they want us to be. That ain't what God told us to be. So now we come out here to re-give you the message that God gave us. He didn't make your body strong enough to bear the weight of the world. I know they tell y'all that like, black woman, God, black. You are beautiful. You are a daughter of Sarah. You were chosen. But you was chosen to be led by a righteous man. Right. That's the that's the order of things. That's why deep down inside, even if a woman's a homosexual, deep down inside, she know what she does is wrong. She know she's supposed to be with a man. Deep down inside, she know that when she got that man, you know, you, you ever, I don't, you probably, I don't know, you've been in a relationship before, but I know it make my wife feel good when we go places to be on my own. You understand? That's she mine. I'm hers. This is my husband, I know ain't nobody messing with me. You understand? You gotta have that type of protection. Right. You and your kids can't continue to be in this life by yourself. It's too hard out here. It's too hard out here for a woman by herself. She need a righteous man. Right. So we trying to show you how to get that. Now give me Hebrews 13 and 4 real quick. Go so Ex Exodus 22 and 16 real quick. These are the commandments that they supposed to be teaching at that big mega church over there that's taking money from the community. They spoke the same way with this church. I think this is a white church actually. They supposed to be teaching us, okay, why is it black on black crime? Let's go into the Bible and find out how to solve it. Why is it baby daddy, baby mama drama? Let's go in the Bible to solve it, right? Read. The book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And if a man entice a maid. So that, that's talking about if a man spit game to you. If a man spit game to a woman or talks to a woman, entices her, gets the number, whatever. Read. That is not betrothed. If she not promised to another man, read and lie with her and then he has sex with that woman what the bible say he shall surely endow her to be his wife what if every black man in the world did that had sex with a sister and said okay we married now you know we got to get married we're going to the courthouse tomorrow it's official because he, he lay with her but how many of our brothers and our sister because it ain't just men because the sister be wanted to so when a sister lay with a man right the bible said they supposed to be married why you think our sisters be running around here crazy because sex is spiritual. Sex, when you have sex with a man, it put a spirit on you. He leave a spirit in you. Right. That's why you catch yourself blowing his phone up, right. checking his Instagram. Who he talking to? Right. You're like, ah, I'm going crazy over this nigga. And you don't know why. It's because when you have sex, it's a spiritual thing. You are, right, it's the sex with those demons come upon you. But God said, but if you with your husband, you can hit your husband up in the middle of the night, or late in the morning, or early in the morning while your husband at work, send him a little pic. You know what I'm saying? Because 
that's your husband, it's okay to do those things with him. Right. But with these Negroes in the street that don't care about keeping the commandments of God, you can't continue to do that with them. You can't continue to do it. You got to come around righteous brothers and sisters to learn so that God will give you a righteous husband. Right. right. Now, watch this. One more. There ain't going to be one more. You might have to leave. I got to keep teaching. <laughs> Hebrews 13 and 4. I can't. That's why we come out here, sis. We got we got to work in the morning, but it, it is what it is. You know, we come out here to teach our people. When we got somebody that's listening, we want to keep teaching them. You know what I'm saying? As long as they want to listen. Hebrews 13 and 4. The book of Hebrews in 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible says marriage is honorable, meaning out of all the things that God honors, the number one thing God honors is marriage. Read. And the bed undefiled. But whoremongers, what that means by the bed undefiled, meaning whatever you and your husband do, y'all can do it. Read. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. He said, but men that want to sleep with a whole bunch of women and women that want to sleep with a whole bunch of men, he said he going to judge them. How does God judge us when we have immoral sex? How does he judge us? Why do you think, how do you think God judges us for immorality, having sexual immorality, meaning I just have sex with as many women as I can. Some went out, I, yeah, yeah. Hold it for me. I'm good. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. So God said he'll judge us for sexual immorality. Let's see how. Read. Also, every sickness. Every sickness. And read, every plague. And every plague, which means disease, read. Which is not written in the book of this law. So you won't find gonorrhea in the Bible. You won't find um, chlamydia, herpes, AIDS. You won't find none of that in the Bible, right? So he said every sickness and every plague, which he don't have written down, read. Them will the Lord bring unto thee until thou be destroyed. That's why Jackson, Mississippi is number two. Those are, those are our brothers. Our brothers do stupid stuff like that. You know, then when they rent, they want to cry. Right, that's what the Bible says. We got to sit outside our childish ways. That's right. Men and women, we got to stop doing it. So God says, what? Read the bottom part. The deal with the Lord bring unto thee, until thou be destroyed. So coronavirus, God, cre God allowed the white man to create it. The same, because I know y'all hadn't learned this before. I see y'all listening too. I know y'all hadn't learned this before. But the white man is the devil. He is Satan. He has done nothing good for black people. He has killed us, lynched us, raped us, robbed us, murdered us, stole from us, brought us here in slavery without the intent of caring about our lives, threw us overboard, shoot us down in Georgia for jogging through a neighborhood. He is the devil. That's what the Bible says. I know you ain't been taught that, but that's what the Bible says. He is the devil. So he created the coronavirus, but God allowed him to do it, and he put it in our community to kill us, because we won't do what God said. That's why we're trying to show y'all, don't lay with no brother. If a brother ain't willing to marry you, don't lay with him. Right. Don't lay with him. Do not give him your precious jewels. Because if you do, he gonna do just like these niggas out here, and he gonna leave. He know his mind ain't right. And even if he stay with you, he still might. He's still not gonna be a godly man to lead you to the kingdom. Right. You want a man that's gonna help lead you to the kingdom of God. Right. But you gotta change your ways first. That's you start right. to change your ways, God gonna bring that righteous man into your life. And he gonna start to deal with you right We now. used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.